Hello friends, welcome to this session of Quality of India. Myself, Dr. Arjun Viswakarma and in this module, in brief, we are going to understand about CQI 11 standard. So, when we talk about uh, AIG CQI series of standards, they have developed multiple standards. So, let us talk about some of the CQI standards which have been developed by AIG. CQI 9 which is for heat treatment system assessment, CQI 11 which we are exploring right now is for plating system assessment, CQI 12 is for coating system assessment, CQI 15 is for welding system assessment, CQI 17 is for soldering system assessment and CQI 23 is for molding system assessment and casting system assessment and for casting system assessment CQI 27. So, these are some of the commonly used uh, CQI series of standard. There are some more standards are also available, but the out of that, I think these are the most commonly practiced and used standards. So, talking about uh, CQI 11, this applies to any organization who are into the plating business, okay, any kind of plating they are doing, they can go for the CQI 11 assessment. We call it assessment, not audit, because it has a prescribed check sheet, very comprehensive check sheet and different sections are there. So, over here we can see the check sheet. This is the cover sheet and cover sheet covers the important aspect about the organization and the plating process. Then we have section 1 which talks about management responsibility and quality planning, then material handling that is section 2. Section 3 talks about pyrometry which is a very comprehensive content talking about the pyrometry, about uh, the heating element, thermocouple and SAT test and TUS. So, very comprehensive content. In fact, we have a very comprehensive online course also on CQI 11 standards and other series of standards also. So, if you want to explore the standards in more details and you want to become an assessor, you can uh, opt for this course. Then section 4 talks about uh, job audit. So, wherein it is uh, mandatory for an assessor to conduct job audit at least for one product. And then we have uh, different process sheets. So, varieties of process sheets are available. For an example, over here we can see this one is for uh, zinc and zinc alloy plating table A. So, numerous tables are there, different tables are there for different kinds of plating processes. So, the assessor needs to select the relevant uh, process table and they need to conduct the assessment. Now, how to become an assessor for CQI 11 system assessment? Uh, there are some uh, typical requirement, key requirement to become an assessor. Broadly talking about, it can be categorized into three elements. First of all, the person needs to have understanding on the systems. If you are an internal auditor or a lead auditor for quality management system, for an example, in an automotive environment, we talk about IATF 16949. So, if you are an internal auditor for IATF 16949, that would do. So, you can comply to the first requirement that is you have understanding about the quality management system. The second requirement is that you must be having familiarity about the six core tools. So, what are the core tools available? The core tools are statistical process control, measurement system analysis, then production part approval process, then control plan, advanced product quality planning and then uh, FMEA. So, these are the key elements which are part and parcel of the CQI system assessment because when we go to the section 1 and section 2, there are different questionnaires and very comprehensively there are contents requiring compliance to APQP, then uh, requirement to control plan, then SPC and FMEA, very comprehensive requirements are there. So, the person, the assessor must be having familiarity, understanding and if he has gone through a training program on uh, the six core tool, then it would suffice the need. And the third requirement is that uh, the assessor must be also having five years of experience in plating and surface uh, finishing processes. So, it is not mandatory that he must have worked in plating environment for five years. If he is having a degree in chemical or uh, chemistry, uh, say for an example, if he is having four years of degree uh, in chemical engineering or in chemistry and he is having couple of years of experience working in plating environment, then he supplies the need for five years of overall experience. If he is not having any technical degree and he has worked in the industry for five years, plating industry and he is having very good understanding on the plating, then also it suffices the need. So, three critical requirements are there. 
first about the system, second about core tool and third about plating. Now talking about the assessment process, it is mandatory for the organization to have at least annually conducting the assessment and it's a very comprehensive content. The assessor needs to follow the guideline, the standard and also follow the checklist which comes along with the standards. So if you are interested to buy the standards, Quality of India provides the standards also. You can approach us and also we are into providing training program and uh, doing assessment. So in case of any need, either you want to purchase the standard or you want to get the training done either physically at your organization or through online mode or through self-paced mode also that is also available with us. And then if you want your organization to be assessed for any CQI series of standards, you can contact Quality of India. So I hope friends, in brief, you must have understood what exactly is CQI and what exactly is CQI 11 standards, very comprehensive uh, standard which talks about the plating system assessment process. In case of any query regarding our services, you can contact us. And before leaving, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section and, and explore our online courses. Download Quality of India's app from Android store or iOS store. And in case of any training, business consulting or certification services, you can contact us. Take care. Bye.